spoken and phonetics for changes and adult learners. Class 21 101 cool sentences for your speaking, storytelling, stress, music and words and a speaking test. So, I've been joined with one of my favorite co-artists, Miss Ritika. Hi Ritika, how are you? Hello sir, I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing great too. So, I'd like to uh, answer to your questions. Okay, Or okay. I would like to respond to the statements. Okay. So, you see there are statements uh, from 1 to 110. I'll go for responding. Okay? Okay, okay. So, please, uh, you start. Okay. I'll kick off. I would like to know your name, so... I'm Mohamed Yassir. Allow me to introduce myself to you. Sure, please. Take my apology. I did not mean to hurt you. It's okay then. I'm extremely sorry, sir. It's alright. This is not your fault. Everything will be alright. Yet, I feel guilty. Allow me to thank you, everybody. You're welcome. Allow me to welcome you all present here. We are blessed. I'm fully indebted to you, sir. Don't mention it. I will never forget your help. Don't mention it. You are unimaginably courteous. You are exaggerating. God made your heart so affectionate. You are exaggerating. I will never forget your kindness, sir. You are too affectionate to me, dear. I am so fortunate to get you by my side. I am blessed too. Your advice will enlighten me, sir. Praise be to God. You made me indebted to you, sir. May Allah bless you, dear. You are so helpful and kind, sir. God is gracious. Sir, your assistance showed me the right way. I am pleased to hear that. Thank you. I am so grateful to you. Please thank Allah. Sir, only great hearts can assist this way. I am grateful to Allah for this. Sir, I will always remember your kindness. Please thank Allah. Sir, I will do my best for you. I will appreciate that. Sir, I will prove my word. I have confidence in you. Sir, I need an opportunity, not any favor. I believe in your capability. Sir, I will be very careful in future. Please, don't repeat it. Sir, I'm so sorry. My actions hurt you a lot. No, it's okay now. Sir, I know it's a mistake, but it was unintentional. It's okay. Sir, I made a mistake. I beg your forgiveness. May Allah forgive you. Please, dear, don't take it personally. I'm just telling you the truth. Okay, I won't. May I join you, please? Sure, if you have no problem. Would you mind if I ask a question? No, not at all. I will answer if I can. Please. How can I thank you, sir? Please, don't mention it. Sir, I will always remember you. Thank Allah for this. A person like you cannot be forgotten, sir. Allah is great. I don't deserve it. I'm always here to help you, sir. You are a trusted one. If I be even a megastar, I will be what I am today to you. Love to hear that. You are great, sir. Thanks God. I don't deserve it. I'm much eager to know about you, sir. Sure. I'm really not worthy to be your friend. Uh, please don't think that way. I truly appreciate your compliment. You're just great. Thanks for your nice comment. You're welcome. Infinite love for your gifts. You truly deserve them. Really, I don't deserve it. Great people always say it this way. You are always different, my dear. Just you say this. I'm lucky to have a friend like you. I'm blessed. I seek your company here and will seek in the hereafter. 
Amen. I'm blessed you came. You called me. You remembered me. You are adorable. I don't know how to thank you, sir. Let's thank Allah. I really thank God for your help. God is gracious. I will always be loyal to you, sir. You are too kind. I'm afraid he's not here. It's okay. I'm afraid I don't know the place. Okay, let me help you. Uh, that would be kind of you, ma'am. Please don't mention it. Please don't mention it. Your kids are so adorable, sir. I'm um, indebted to God. He is an icon, sir. Really, he is. I appreciate your effort for me. You are most welcome. Thanks for your time, sir. I enjoyed every moment. I offer myself for your service, sir. I'm so happy to hear this. We are so happy to receive you here, sir. I'm blessed. I'm sure you would love to see this, sir. I indeed would. A thousand hopes for your success. Uh, may God bless us all. Accept our best wishes, sir. You are too kind. And how may I express gratitude to you? Don't just mention it. Do I seem very ungenerous? Of course not. How delightful to meet you, sir. Same is here. Apparently, I was wrong. It was unintentional, I know. Certainly not. If it displeases you. No, no, no. It's okay. Consult me when you want me at any time. You are too generous. Do I seem very intolerant? I never think this way. Please do not misunderstand me. I won't, dear. Don't think I am unappreciative of your kindness. I don't think that way. Do you know I envy you for that? Oh, really? Do you mind my making a suggestion? Please go ahead. Excuse my frankness. Please go ahead. Give me your sympathy and counsel. You are too courteous. A sense of humor is unquenchable. I agree. How amiable you are to say so. I heard it for the first time. How delightful to meet you. Same is here. How extraordinary. It is indeed. How intensely interesting. It is indeed. How perfectly delightful. It is indeed. I admire your foresight. Thank you, sir. I'm at your service. Happy to get you. I'm glad you feel so deeply about it. I always do this. I'm giving you well-deserved praise. Do I deserve it? I'm indebted to you for the suggestion. Thanks, sir, for Allah. I'm so glad you think that. Thanks, sir, for Allah. I'm so sorry, so very sorry. It's okay. I'm vastly obliged to you. I'm happy to hear that. I'm wondering if I may dare ask you a very personal question. Sure, go ahead. Let me say how deeply indebted I feel for your kindness. Thank God for this. Many thanks. How kind and good you are. Only God deserves the praise. Pardon me. I meant something different. It's okay. Will you allow me to ask you a question? Sure, please. Will you have the kindness to explain? Okay. Will you permit me a brief explanation? Sure. You are heartily welcome. I'm blessed. You are so tremendously kind about it. God is great. I'm under the deepest feeling of gratitude for your kindness. Allah is kind. I shall consider myself privileged for your help. Allah is kind. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm proud of you. That's very kind of you, sir. Thanks, sir, for Allah. I don't know how I should thank you for this. Thanks, sir, for Allah. I will never forget your cordial assistance. Thanks, God, for this. My heartfelt veneration is for you, sir. I'm blessed, dear. Hats off to you, sir. God is great. I have been enlightened by your powerful words, sir. Thanks are for Allah only. Your assistance will never be forgotten. I'm thankful to Allah. 
Please acknowledge my apology. Unless kind. I feel honored to hear this from you. You are very generous. Storytelling. Story one. Struggle. Hello, everyone. Greetings. This is Mama the Asir. Hope you are bright and shiny. I'm also doing great. Today, I want to tell you a story called Struggle. So, let's begin. A biology teacher was teaching his students how a caterpillar turns into a butterfly. He told the students that in the next couple of hours, the butterfly would struggle to come out of the cocoon, but no one should help the butterfly. Then he left. The students were waiting and it happened. The butterfly struggled to get out of the cocoon and one of the students took pity on it and decided to help the butterfly out of the cocoon against the advice of his teacher. He broke the cocoon to help the butterfly so it didn't have to struggle anymore. But shortly afterwards, the butterfly died. When the teacher returned, he was told what happened. He explains to his students that by helping the butterfly, he had actually killed it because it is a law of nature that the struggle to come out of the cocoon actually helps develop and strengthen its wings. The boy had deprived the butterfly of its struggle and the butterfly died. Apply this same principle to our lives. Nothing worthwhile in life comes without a struggle. As parents, we tend to hurt the ones we love most because we don't allow them to struggle to gain a strength. Hope you like my presentation. Next time, I'll tell you another beautiful story. Till then, Allah is Story 2 Acres of Diamonds Hello everyone. Greetings. This is Mohammed Yasir. Hope you are bright and shiny. I'm also doing great. Today, I want to tell you a story called Acres of Diamonds. So, let's begin. There was a farmer in Africa who was happy and content. He was happy because he was content. He was content because he was happy. One day, a wise man came to him and told him about the glory of diamonds and the power that goes along with them. The wise man said, If you had a diamond the size of your thumb, you could have your own city. If you had a diamond the size of your fist, you could probably own your own country. And then he went away. That night, the farmer couldn't sleep. He was unhappy and he was discontent. He was unhappy because he was discontent and discontent because he was unhappy. The next morning, he made arrangements to sell off his farm, took care of his family and went in search of diamonds. He looked all over Africa and couldn't find any. He looked all through Europe and couldn't find any. When he got to Spain, 
He was emotionally, physically and financially broke. He got so disheartened that he threw himself into the Barcelona River and committed suicide. Back home, the person who had bought his farm was watering the camels at a stream that ran through the farm. Across the stream, the rays of the morning sun hit a stone and made it sparkle like a rainbow. He thought it would look good on his showpiece. He picked up the stone and put it in the living room. That afternoon, the wise man came and saw the stone sparkling. He asked, Is half his back? The new owner said, No, why do you ask? The wise man said, Because that is a diamond. I recognize one when I see one. The man said, No, that's just a stone. I picked up from the stream. Come, I'll show you. There are many more. They went and picked some samples and sent them for analysis. Sure enough, the stones were diamonds. They found that the farm was indeed covered with acres of diamonds. Hope you liked my story. Next time, I'll tell you another beautiful story. Till then, a love is. Story 3. Secret to Success Hello everyone. Greetings. This is Mohammed Yasir. Hope you're bright and shiny. I'm also doing great. Today, I want to tell you a story called Secret to Success. So, let's begin. A young man asked Socrates the secret to success. Socrates told the young man to meet him near the river in the next morning. They met. Socrates asked the young man to walk with him toward the river. When the water got up to their neck, Socrates took the young man by surprise and ducked him into the river. The boy struggled to get out, but Socrates was strong and kept him there until the boy started turning blue. Socrates pulled his head out of the water and the first thing the young man did was to gasp and take a deep breath of air. Socrates asked, What did you want the most when you were there? The boy replied, Yeah. Socrates said, That is the secret to success. If you want success as badly as you wanted the air, then you will get it. There is no other secret. A burning desire is the starting point of all accomplishment. Just like a small fire cannot give much heat, a weak desire cannot produce great results. Hope you like my story. Next time, I'll tell you another beautiful story. Till then, Allah fez. The Prophet Muhammad's instructions to soldiers were ethical code. Don't kill a omen. Don't cut a tree. Don't kill an infant. Don't kill a child. Don't kill the sick. Don't kill an old man. Don't betray. Don't kill a priest not fighting you. Don't destroy a worship place. Never mutilate the bodies. Don't kill an animal except to eat. Don't destroy buildings. Always keep a promise. Be good to the prisoners. Don't force anyone to Islam. Forgive and release captives. Hello there, I'm Samila Baba, I'm a 4th grader and I'm an artist. I'm a TESOL learner too. I'm preparing myself from now. For this, I'm doing a yearly program 
on TESOL Bangladesh. Assalamu alaikum. English course kakhon theke shuru kar ho chit. Abu Shri chote bala theke. Gato chote bala theke. Play group theke of course. Amra honors master shesh kore when we look for the jobs, we try to learn English. And that is a very big mistake. So, ami shomani to obhi babak dir bolbo. Apna shanta dir ke ekhoni TESOL kit se bhorti koriye den. এবং ওরা কি কি শিখবে এখানে স্পোকেন ইংলিশ ইংলিশ প্রোনাউন্সিয়েশন ফোনিক্স ইংলিশ গ্রামার ক্রিয়েটিভ রাইটিং ভোকাবুলারি স্পেলিং স্কিল এন্ড অফ কোর্স প্রেজেন্টেশন স্কিল আমাদের রয়েছে দেশ ও বিদেশের সেরা শিক্ষকগণ সেলটা সার্টিফাইড টিচার্সগণ কোর্স সম্পর্কিত ডিটেইলস লেখা রয়েছে এই ভিডিওর ক্যাপশনে